Hey Loopers, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be firing up the tube with Ultium Designer, where we're going to show you how to set your board sizes perfectly. Let's jump straight into this video. This is the board that we're going to be working with in Ultium Designer. It is 74.5 millimeters wide by 41 millimeters high. Working in millimeters, so we're going to set the units and grid size. We can see down in the bottom left hand corner, Ultium Designer is default into mils. So what we're going to do is we're going to press the shortcut key Q, which will change the units to millimeters. Next, we're going to press the shortcut key G, and we're going to select 0.5 millimeters as our grid size. So we're going to left click on that. We now want to be able to see the bottom left hand side of the default board which Altium has created for us. So I'm going to hold down the middle mouse button and drag the mouse down to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to right click and hold and drag that up to the right hand side a little bit more just so we can see this bottom left hand corner here. The next thing we want to do is to set our origin. So we're going to go edit origin and set and we're going to click as close as we can to the bottom left hand corner of the default board it doesn't matter if you're not spot on don't worry about that we're now going to set the board size so we need to be in board planning mode we can do that two ways we can left click view and then left click board planning mode or we could press the number one key on the keyboard we're going to left click on the menu option this is board planning mode and it will enable us to set the board dimensions of our circuit board. We're now going to left click design and redefine board shape. Give that a left click. From here we can map out the exact board shape. We're going to press the shortcut key J for jump and L for location. So that's the shortcut key J followed by the shortcut key L, which will open the jump to location dialog. In here, we're going to enter zero in the X. We're going to press the tab key to go to Y. I'm going to enter zero again. We're going to press the enter key. That will now take us to the origin location. Once we're here, don't move the mouse pointer. You're going to press the enter key again, which will set the first point of our board. We're going to press the shortcut key J, the shortcut key L for jump to location, and we're going to enter into the X dimension 74.5, and that will move the location 74.5 millimeters across. We're going to press the enter key. As we can see, we've moved across, and we're going to press the enter key again to mark the second point of our board. Once we're here, we're going to press the J key, followed by the L key. And we're going to enter 74.5. Then we're going to press the Tab key, and we're going to put 41 in there. We're going to press the Enter key. And we're going to press the Enter key again, which will now mark the third point of our board. We're going to press the J key, followed by the L key. And here, we want 0 for X, we're going to press the tab key and we're going to enter 41 for the Y. We're going to press the enter key and we're going to press the enter key again to set that final point that we want for our board. Once we're here, don't move the mouse pointer, press the escape key. That now sets your board outline to those exact dimensions that we've dialed in. 